Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at creating custom UV tiles. So by custom UV tiles what I mean is um, imagine that we have two walls just like this and we are going to apply different um, textures to each one of these and we've gone through the process of setting up a bunch of parameters that's going to allow us to swap the uh, textures by using a uh, parameterized um, texture slot and so we have one uh, material instance constant here so let's select this and we can apply this and say we create a second one create material instant constant and let's go ahead set this wall and apply this now if we open up any of these so let's open up this first one you can see I have values here that's going to allow us to control say for instance the strength of the normal map by increasing the um, RNG and we have the um, the wall color here so let's just go ahead and give this a, um, a random color so let's go with something let's go with something like this and uh, that's just a little off screen so let's press ok press ok and close and you can see that that color is applied there and we can go ahead and do the same thing over here okay and say we'll go with maybe a blue wall this time okay and we close this you can see that we have both of these now if we go back to the master material and we wanted to parameterize the uvs if we select the texture coordinates and right click you can see that there is no uh, parameterization of this we can start previewing the node we can enable in real time and we can break the links and that's about it so what if we wanted to have the, the master material applied to two different walls but we wanted to control the tiling of each one of these for uh, a particular purpose so we could have um, say a brick wall here and then maybe a stone wall on this one um, all using the same master material well what we need to do is we need to go ahead and look at how we can set up the UVs for that so what we need to do is go back to our master material and what we're going to do is we're going to break all the links. So we're going to go to break all links. Okay. And let's pull this out all the way over here. Now, if we right click here and choose start previewing on node. And we extend this and let's just bring this up over here. So we can see that a the um, UV of or the uh, UV node really only has two colors. We have this um, red and green. And then this yellow is a blend between both of them. So what we can do is we can extract both the RNG values from here and then multiply them and then append them and bring them back into a node or, or a, um, uh, bring them back into an append, sorry, and then apply that over. So let's go ahead and look at how we can do this. So let's click and drag off from here and we're going to type in uh, mask. And we want this one that says component mask and we're going to select this and if we look on the um, properties of this you can see that we have let's just uh, pull this up here we ha we have the r and g in this particular case we only want the r so let's deselect this and if we click the little drop down you can see that that has separated the r the r value let's copy this and paste this and let's link this one up over here now what we want is only the um, G value so we can bring this out over here. So what this allows us to do or what this has given us is it has separated the R and G value from the uh, texture coordinate. So what we can now do is we can multiply. So I press and hold the M key and multiply. And let's put this into B and then in the A I'm going to press and hold the 1 key and left click and let's right click and choose convert to parameter and let's give this a um, name of u tile and plug this in and what we want to do is we want to set the default value to 1 so if we start previewing this node you can see that now we have the um, the u tile and we want to go ahead and copy these so I'm going to copy and paste these and bring these all the way down here and I'm going to change the name to V tile and let's plug this in over here and plug this into A so 
So now what we've done is we have separated both of those values out and we need to append them. So appending will just bring those values back together. So I'm going to right click and type in app and get to the append vector. And we want to plug the multiply um, from the u tile into a and then multiply from the v tile into b. And if we click the little drop down, now you can see we have the uh, colors back. So just to review here, what we have is the texture coordinate has been separated into the R and G, which um, basically represents the red and green over here. Um, those have then, um, we have then a multiplied a value. And so these are, these are parameterized now. And then we have then appended them um, back together and we can now plug these back into our UVs. So let's go ahead put these all the way back into our texture samples okay and we can go ahead and we can apply this and let's close this so now it looks like nothing has changed however if we open up one of these so let's open up the uh, blue um, wall here and let's scroll down now you can see we have the scalar parameter values and we have the u tile and the v tile and so now say we set this back down to maybe 0.5 by 0.5 you can see that the scaling has now changed so if we go back into the game you can see that the um scale has changed let's uh it's like that didn't apply 0.5 by 0.5 and we can save this and go into the game so now you can see we have two different scalings with the uh, same material and this is the same over here we can open up this and we can change the UMV tile so I'll say we set this to 0 by 0 we're going to get no UVs so we can save this and we're going to get this a uh, blank color or well, we can go ahead and increase this you know pretty high so 2 by 2 and we'll get a higher UV tile. So that's the very basics of how we can set up um, UV tiling within a um, parameterized environment. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.